Ya YouTubers, Tazman here bringing you another VTT assets, or no, VTT utilities, what did I call this thing again? I think utilities, um, type of video, and the reason I, I label this this way is because this isn't necessarily for fantasy grounds, it's not for roll 20, it's not for, uh, you know, map tool, it's not for boundary, it's, it's for anything. So, um, I wanted to show this off. This is actually by the people that make Map Tool. RP Tools is the website. You can actually find it, and I probably should have. Let's see, can I do this? No, it's too big. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of size this about right ish. So, you can actually find it just by coming into Google and doing uh, T O K E N T. T O O L. So it's like that. Um, and it'll be this RP Tools one. If you go there, you'll see it's version 2. Click on that. And you can just uh, scroll on down and download either for Mac or Windows the thing. You download it, install it, you know, that kind of stuff I'm not going to go into. But uh, then it, it just works for you. Uh, let's see so let's go in and close out that so when you launch it it won't look quite like this because you won't have this chain and you won't have this but other than that it'll pretty much look probably similar to what we're looking at here so the first thing you want to do when you pull up token tool is you want to bring in an image so if you go to the portrait options here we can actually say oh yeah I want to bring in an image and we'll bring this one back up in just a minute but I wanted to show you how you do it so I'm gonna go ahead and I just have this monk here with a black background actually I guess this isn't a black background so um, as you can see you can move it by left clicking and moving it around and it will actually automatically put it um, behind the actual overlay layer and you'll notice here is kind of a preview of what it'll look like when it's done. So it's actually going to automatically also get rid of all this background information. So if we just wanted her, and we can also scroll in and out to make her smaller or bigger. And we can just go, and I kind of want her face more, just a little bit, like maybe something like that. So you just choose what you want, and as you can see here, that's what you get. Uh, you can choose to change its uh, opacity level or transparency. So if you have a background behind it or something, you can add a Gaussian blur, which I don't know why you do that for a token, but I guess you could. Uh, you can also glow it, which kind of washes it out, makes it super bright, so on and so forth. Um, you can remove the portrait. Of course, you can change it. So once you've done that, you can come down to the overlay. Now they have lots and lots and lots of overlays. I think the website said 200. Let me look real quick. It's just right. Oh, 150. Over 150 overlays. Um, oh, and I also forgot. You can also um, rotate it by holding down shift. So if you need to rotate it left and right, you can do that. Uh, and then, of course, bring it in, zoom in, zoom out. So anyway, as you can see here, there's different categories. We have cards, like if you're making a card, you can actually do that. Um, you have the option when you're in the overlays. For example, we might have something like this. Well, we want her to be on the card. So we can actually click the little send to the back, and that will actually send the card to the back. And then we can move her and put her more into that card. Um, so we have all these different cards. We can make her be wanted. Looks like she's dancing while she's wanted or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. There's create. This is just a black thing. I don't know how else to describe it. Nothing. And then kind of an embossing where, as you can see, it kind of gives her an embossed look. Uh, you'll notice that this section right here is all that actually is going to show her or show your token. 
So the, there's the create section here. There's hex. If you have hex tokens, you can do it there. Let's go ahead and make her big again. And let's put her in the front. You can also tell it not to clip the portrait. Uh, this will actually take the size of the actual portrait and make this whole thing the token with that in the middle. I don't know why on earth you'd do that. <laughs> So there we go, let's go ahead and throw her back in there. So you have hex options, you can just click them and go. And you'll see this is what the finished product will look like. We have, maybe I should start at the bottom, because then I can just do go up. So you have square options if you want square tokens. Uh, you can once again do it where it's on the background. And then you just bring her up. You'll notice once again, it is cutting her from right there so you're not actually seeing that part so it's, it's a really nice tool um, we can also change the token itself change its opacity we can change the size of the token this little lock right here keeps these two constrained so if we did that now we can make it shorter or taller uh, if we click constrain it'll automatically keep them constrained to uh, be the same let's go ahead and now click off of that we have round tokens these are the most common one and there's even lots of different choices in here we have smooth which you know just kind of gives it a nice smooth beveling So you can choose, this is where the majority of them are. If it's an NPC, you can actually have it say NPC. However, in this case, uh, we need to put that in back again. Um, you know, so we have all these round tokens here that we're looking at that are the smooth option. Uh, we can do that, we can get rid of that and do runes, you know, to have some little runic edges. Once again, this is the one where you probably want the token in front. Uh, but lots and lots of options here. Really easy. Uh, you have gears, which are kind of nice as well. It also kind of adds this gloss, like there's a... This is a glass piece in the center. We have decorated. Uh, if you want to have some fancy looking stuff. Like I so adding shadows and all that fun stuff and we have chains which that's the one we had initially and we have bottle caps which once again you want her in front there however here you might not so once you've decided what kind you actually want uh, all you have to do is then save it so you get it how you want it. You go change save options. We're going to call this token monk, M-O-N-K. And maybe change the actual file name, M-O-N-K. Uh, we could have it use the token's name. Uh, we could save the portrait on drag and drop. So all these different little options here. Once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and hit save as. And it will go ahead and save it. So now if I think we come into here, we can see we now have our Tian Monk. And you'll see it's a perfect token. I don't know if I have to really line this window up very much. So this is a really cool tool. One other thing you can do is you can actually add your own portraits and frames. You can also add backgrounds to it. So like we have her here, because she has a transparent background, we can actually even add a background. I'm trying to think where I might have a background. I think I might have one on. Uh, let's go into my desktop. My green screen stuff would have backgrounds that would work. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Green screen. So, I don't know. Let's do something like that. So here you can see we can take the background. So it looks really cool. Throw it behind her. Um, 
or we could just set the default background to white. This would be good if you don't have a transparent GIF, you know, uh, where the token, you'll actually see like a line here, so you could change the background the same color as the token. Uh, but you can do all that fun stuff. So you can change the background layer, you can go back to the portrait layer, get everything lined up how you want it. Once again, you can also uh, hold shift, oops, I'm in the token layer, background layer. We can go ahead and, you know, make it look like it's she's uh it's different <laughs> uh the next thing you can do with this so we have all these different options is you can actually make your own uh rings and the way you do that is you would create it in say photoshop or whatever then you would come in here and you would go to manage overlays control m and uh, this will pull up a manage overlay button or window and in here we can see all our different ones we have a round bottle cap all the different types we can add our own by creating a new directory and say uh, my o v e r l a y s overlays something like that it'll go ahead and create us a new thing as you can see put it in there i probably wanted to click just on overlays to do that we're already in square so uh, then you can add things in there. So let's do that again. Let's do it right here. Actually, no, let's not worry about that. So in here, you can actually go and look at the different ones. Choose the category. Like if you're doing a decorating, you made a really nice one. You just click here. You can go ahead and add it. Now, it's also cool to note that you can actually add the PSD itself uh, as a source. Uh, it supports pings, GIFs. Uh, JPGs, JPEGs, and BMPs. So you can just add them in here, and the next time you go into your list, they'll be there. So I think that pretty much covers this. I mean, it's a really simple video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as a bonus video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. Don't forget about the Great Big Game Giveaway. We're there. Sign up for my Discord. You'll be eligible to win. And that's it. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.